26. 26? 26. Yes. 16. Maybe three. 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 Four and a half. Four and a half. Nine. Maybe twenty-three. That's twenty-three. Yeah. One eighty-five. One eighty-five. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe more. Maybe more. Yeah. This week's episode before we head to Mexico, we were able to have a little bit of luck here in Wisconsin muzzleloading. Ten-year-old Gavin Clay was able to head out with Wes and get one of his first bucks. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great hunt and uh, look forward to showing it to you guys. Gavin was more than excited uh, to say the least. So Aaron was out in New Mexico hunting, so I got the opportunity to take him and, and uh, definitely happy that it happened that way. Did. I just yeah. have too much adrenaline. Is that your first muzzle loader kill? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the first time I've ever shooting a muzzle loader. Pretty good spot, dude. Nice. about the lighting uh, got dark on us here and all I have is one little flashlight with me. Uh, what do you think you have? It's a nice pretty buck. Yes it is. This is your biggest buck? Oh yeah. His second buck, uh, he killed one last year in the youth hunt. Yep. Uh, five pointer, right? Six. Six pointer? Like that, yeah. Yep. And this one's bigger? Oh yeah. He, uh, we got a full moon and 50 degree temperatures here in the December muzzleloader season in Wisconsin so that tells you how good the hunting's been but uh, all it took was the last five minutes of light. Yep. The only deer we seen tonight was this buck, and, and Gavin decided he wanted to shoot it, and boy did he ever. He he took that Scenic Valley custom muzzle loader and you you hammered him. He went straight down, didn't he? Oh yeah. Yeah. I know your dad. His dad's in New Mexico, um, uh, elk hunting right now, and uh, we already told him about the good news. Oh yeah. And he's pumped. Your mom, she already texted me. She's pumped. So. Um, this year's been kind of a theme. The kids have been getting it done. You are the fourth one to shoot a, a deer on film for us this year. 
Good. So in the third box, so um, pretty good year. Um, like I said, Gavin got it done. We were already planning how we were gonna shoot one tomorrow night because the neighbors were <laughs> yeah. out in the field shooting. I don't know what they were shooting at. Um, like I said, we hadn't seen nothing, but we definitely got the job done. There's no doubt about that. Um, I couldn't be happier for him, and I know he's not. he couldn't be any happier. So now if the Badgers win tonight, it'll be a perfect night, right? Yeah, it would be awesome. Be awesome. So you got anything else you want to say? Go Badgers. Go Badgers, huh? There we go. So we're going to get him gutted. Get a, we got a long ways to take him. Hopefully we can get a four-wheeler up here because yeah. I don't think we want to drag him. No. All right. Congratulations, Gavin, uh, on your second buck and, and your biggest. Can't wait till next year, and hopefully we can beat this one. We're headed to Mexico for the last hunt of our season. Um, usually we have our camera guys with us, but unfortunately one of our camera guys had a grandma pass away, so he wasn't able to come. And our second camera guy who was coming from New York happened to be trying to fly out during one of the big storms. And also they had like water leaks or something going on. So he, even though he arrived with plenty of time, he was still standing in the security line as his plane took off. So unfortunately this whole hunt in Mexico is self-filmed. So bear with us because we're not professionals by any means. No, and <laughs> I actually filmed a lot of mine on my cell phone. So be ready for some up close and personal footage of me holding my phone like this. Um, the kill shots all turned out pretty good on that end, um, but uh, definitely not the highest quality film of the year by any means, but we, we did, we got it done and it worked out. We were lucky enough to have Wes's cousin Dylan who did actually quite a bit of filming in past last season. Um, we were lucky enough that he was able to take off work and come with us. So he filmed both mine and my dad's hunt and yep, thank he God he was out. there. Yeah, we didn't have quite the right camera gear with us. Um, wasn't prepared. Uh, if I would have known that we were going to have any camera guys besides Dylan with us, I would have brought a lot more gear with. But um, like I said, we made it work and, and uh, the hunts turned out great. climbed off the mountain, we got about a mile and a half hike, we're going to drive a little ways and then hike the rest of the way and hopefully uh, find this buck again, he's a big 4x4 four four, so keep your fingers crossed, sorry about the footage, I'm going to try to lay it all down so see what happens. inch circle that he convinced us that he could shoot him through so hopefully we got uh, 
good video of him. Uh, we got the best we could do, and he didn't seem to want to get up without. We didn't want to take a chance of going over and busting him, so he ended up shooting him and made a perfect shot the way it looks. So we're gonna go over and see what we got. Well, like Dad just said, we maybe should have let him stand up for the camera, but we have no patience, <laughs> and I didn't want him to get away. So hopefully he's on there. I'm not a professional camera guy I'm trying to do it myself. Have Dad help me. Ran it. He hit the record button for me. So. Hopefully this all works out and we got good footage for you. If not, you're gonna get to see a, a big buck on the ground here in a minute when we walk up to him. So 320 yards, Scenic Valley Custom Rifle. Um, all year, we've had great luck, um, killed a lot of great animals, and it, this trip's just getting started, so we got a lot more to come. 78? Yeah, be right at 180 maybe, close to 180, 180, yeah. It's more long. Yeah, that one might be longer yet. Well, here he is. Um, first day here in Mexico, and we got, I think, right around 180. Um, quite the buck for the first day. We spotted, I don't know, probably seven, eight, maybe even ten uh, mature bucks this morning. Um, there was a bunch of them that were big, real big frame, but had weak one side, or the other side was weak, or something was wrong with all of them. Right at the, kind of what we considered, you know, starting to get slow, this guy, uh, Jesus, found him about, I mile away probably pretty close to a mile away and made a game plan got around and he brought us right into 320 yards of them waited on him for two three hours wouldn't stand up wouldn't stand up so i finally convinced him to let me shoot him through the little bush i had a little opening and it paid off probably didn't make the best video but uh the outcome's the same it's a great buck so i have a hard time holding his head up but He's a great deer. Jesus thinks he's seven, eight years old after looking at his teeth. Um, can't ask for, for a better situation. I gotta thank, you know, T3 Operational Solutions. When I did my shooting school this year, they taught me a lot of techniques um, for shooting and, and it really paid off. Uh, we haven't had one, one miss this year between me and Megan and um, it, that class did wonders. And then Brad with Scenic Valley Custom Rifles because it, his gun shoot unreal. He's been really good to us and uh, this one's brand new. Dad actually just got this one. Um, I had been shooting a different one. Same caliber, but uh, this one's carbon fiber barrel, um, titanium action. A little lighter gun than what mine is, so figured we'd try it out here, and yeah, it paid off. So we got uh, two more muley tags in our pockets and a coos deer tag, so we got uh, six more days of hunting. We're going to get after it, and we're going to hopefully uh, be bringing you, a, bringing you a few more kills this week. So stick with us. we got some good things to come. Make sure to check out Precision Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook. Evening number two here in Mexico. Um, I'm filming off my cell phone here. <laughs> no, that camera guy screwed up. And I'm sure you already know, but um, kind of short on cameras. Big lens sucks, so good for the shot, but not good for anything else. So the glass has a very good soft dimple deer. So tonight it was slow. On day two of the hunt, Wes was lucky enough to, you know, come across the buck that was even bigger than the one that he had shot the day before. Yeah, that, that's a nice part about Mexico is you're not limited to just one tag. You can, uh, you can get more than one tag if you want. And we had a few extra tags um, in case someone else had limited it out during the week and, and come across another good one. And uh, I think it was night number two, we had found a deer, again, uh, pushing about a mile away that we thought was pushing 190, maybe even a little bit better. And uh, anyone that knows my dad, that's not big enough for him. So he's holding out for 200 or nothing. So he said, if you want him, uh, we got an extra tag, we should try to set up on him. So we snuck in, got to 700 yards. And with you know the guns from Brad, Scenic Valley Custom Firearms, and doing our training and everything, these long shots, you know, we can do it now. And uh, we got set up, had a little bit of a tricky wind but uh, got, the, got the shot off on him at 700 yards and hit him, hit him a little bit back. So we uh, went all the way around and got in on him and uh, there we found him and uh, put one more in him and, and that was it. Got behind him. My biggest mule there today was 190 that I killed in Colorado years ago. And he, this one went 191, so it was my biggest ever. 
Um, couldn't have been more happy, but then, you know, we transitioned into, I already have two deer down and you got to get <laughs> Megan one. Now, I don't want her to shoot a bigger one than me, but I want her to shoot a big one. So uh, we got, you know, the rest of the week, we got five more days to find dad a 200, try to help find Megan a big deer. And plus I still got a coos deer po uh, tag in my pocket or Megan, whoever uh, comes across a good coos deer. Well, we just got set up here in position 724 yards from where we are right now. I'm going to decide if we're going to try to get closer or maybe take the shot. He's definitely on this little camera screen to make sure everything went right, but uh, one way or another we're going to take a shot at him here, so stay with me and we're going to make something happen. Wait for the buck to come to the opening, so we're getting all ready set up here. Shot that buck, we're hiking down the mountain now. We got 800 yards to go. Get to him roughly. We're gonna, we think he's dead, but um, I didn't make the best shot. Um, not one to lie, that's the way it is. But good enough shot, we think he's dead. But if not, we'll put one more in him. We're gonna sneak up there and see what we can find. Right there, right there, right there. See his head? Shoot to the right of him. He's, he's, his body's to the right. There you go. Well, we got him. It has been definitely, I think, the biggest mule I've ever killed. So, a lot of hard work, long shot, longest shot I've ever made. 740. He's uh, he's dead here. We're gonna let him expire here for a minute, and then uh, yeah, we'll grab him. So, stick with me. Coming to you quick. Once again, got one down here in old Mexico. Got a big thanks to Jesus and Elias Sa. He actually, Elias Sa is our driver, and he spotted this buck. He came up and glassed with us. Um, without those two, I wouldn't have probably gotten anything yet. We're on day two, and I already got two bucks down. 180 yesterday, and we're thinking this one will probably break the 190 mark. It's been a heck of a two-day hunt so far. Dad still got a tag for mule deer, and I got a coos deer tag. So we got a lot of action yet to happen. Um, big thanks to Brad with Scenic Valley Custom Rifles, 700 yards, my longest shot um, to date, and all thanks to his rifle, um, that helped me get it done. The rifle does the job, I'm, I'm just an average shooter, but with the right rifle it makes it easy. And big thanks to T3 Operational Solutions for uh, teach me techniques, reading the wind, um, proper setups. Without, without being able to do that stuff right, it doesn't matter how good the gun shoots. So between those two people, or those two partners, um, can't thank them enough. It's been an awesome year. This is a great way for me to end it. Um, hopefully I get a coos deer yet, but if not, 
Um, I'm plenty happy with what I got. So hopefully we can get dad on a 200 plus mule deer. That's what his goal is, the magic number 200. So we've got five days to do it. Stay tuned. Uh, Megan's, Megan's got a tag too. So hopefully she can get one and, and hopefully we can get dad three. on one. Three. Big thanks to the guides again and Four Mexico. And Can't say enough five. good things about it. Nine two together. Nine. 85 and a half plus 76 and a half. Maybe 23. That's 23? Yeah. 185. 185? Yeah. Maybe more. Maybe more? Yeah, I agree. There's more. Yeah, more. A little more? Yeah. A little more than 185? Yeah. Yeah, you heard it right there. <laughs> well, I hope we got some video. We got video. He's doubting us already. <laughs> He's in that shot, I'll promise you that. So. Stay tuned next week as we continue our hunt in Sonora, Mexico. There you have him. See him! I don't think he's good. <laughs> I, don't think he's I, I can't either. I could oh. I used to shoot through the brush. It didn't even phase him. No, it didn't even phase him. He never moved. He's dead, ain't he? Oh. One of the biggest ones shot this week. It'll. Definitely my biggest. Yeah, well, I shot a 191 last night and she might give me a run for my money. My man Dylan carrying my deer out for me. I'm not going to complain about this. How's that? Is that hell? Okay.